And listen, my friends, the enemy was not only trying to take out my husband, he was trying to take me out. Hello, my beautiful and amazing friends. Yay. I'm so, so happy to see you today and welcome to today's podcast where I'm going to talk about how to survive a divorce or a breakup. That's right. I tell you, there is nothing harder. At least I haven't been through anything as hard as going through a very much unwanted divorce. I'm telling you, I had suicidal thoughts. I was crying myself to sleep every night. I mean, I just did not think I was going to make it. And then the other woman that my husband was seeing, oh, that's just a whole nother story. There was just so many evil things going on. But I want to share this with you today. I'm not only going to talk to you about how to survive a divorce or a breakup, not just being a survivor, but also being a thriver. And let me tell you, my friends, it was not easy. It was, in my personal life, a four-year process of just allowing God to heal me. And one of the things that I want to share with you today, how do you survive a divorce? How do you survive a breakup? How do you thrive after you survive? Well, it comes through God's Word. And I love Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my pathway. Listen, my friends, I'm going to tell you something. I grabbed a hold of my Bible during that difficult four-year season, and I read those scriptures. I read them silently. I read them out loud. I memorized Psalm 23. I mean, I tell you what, I live Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. There were so many times, my friend, in the middle of the night that my thoughts were so tormented, I could not get my husband being with that other woman out of my mind. And I was so tormented and I was suicidal and oh my gosh, I was fighting depression and I was crying all the time. But in the middle of the night, I would open my mouth and I would would begin to say Psalm 23 out loud. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And I'm telling you, when I began to speak God's word out loud, it would override those oppressive thoughts. It would override and cause those thoughts of depression, those thoughts of suicide to leave my mind. And listen, my friends, the enemy was not only trying to take out my husband, he was trying to take me out. And of course, this was years before I began to go into the inner cities of America and train teams and win souls and do outreaches. And so you see the enemy, he was trying to put a stop to my life. It was an assault, not on me. It was an assault on my God-given destiny. And so today, if you're going through an unwanted divorce, if you're going through a breakup, if someone has broken your heart, I am here to encourage you today. There is a light at the end of the dark tunnel. Glory to God. There is an end to this. Listen, Jesus, he's the author and he's the finisher of our faith. He's our alpha our omega, our beginning, and our end. And the wonderful thing about our Jesus is he can see much further down the road of your life than you can see. And if you've gone through a divorce, if you're going through a divorce, a separation, if you're going through a breakup, listen, my friends, God's hand is on your life. Grab a hold of his word and allow his word to begin to heal you. Don't let your mind run away with you. When those thoughts come, that's when you open your mouth and you combat, you come against those evil thoughts by speaking 
God's word out of your mouth. And I tell you, you'll not only be a survivor. I'm not just a survivor. I am a thriver. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than an overcomer through Christ Jesus. And so are you, my friend. Today, I pray over you that Jesus will heal your broken heart. And I pray for my friend, my father, that if they're going through a separation, I pray for healing in their marriage. If they're already divorced, if there's no hope on getting that relationship back together, I pray for healing for my friend today. I pray that you will restore them, spirit, soul, and body, mind, will, and emotions. And I pray for the peace of God that passes all understanding to rule and reign in your heart and in your mind today. In Jesus' name, amen.